Lord Jesus. Um, I was raised in a home that we did believe in God. Um, we did not attend church. Religion wasn't a big thing. I didn't grow up in the ideal home setting. Um, when I was 18, I was on my own. I went down every wrong path probably imaginable. Um, when I was 21, I lost my best friend to suicide. And I was in college, and that was probably the turning point of me, like, finding myself. Um, I started taking religion classes. I identified myself as being agnostic. I questioned a, a lot of things, like, why would God do this to me and put me through this? Like, this isn't the God that everybody talks about. Like, this isn't fair. When I was 23, I lost my dad to suicide. And at that point, you couldn't even talk religion to me, like, I didn't want to hear it. Um, I went on, finished undergrad, went to grad school, finished grad school, found out I was pregnant with my son. Um, his father wasn't involved. And I came to a point in my life, like, I had to do something right for him. I had to raise him in a God-loving home, differently from how I was raised. So when he was probably almost a year old, we started going to church. I had him baptized. Um, later on, a few years later, I had my daughter, had her baptized, um, got married in the Catholic Church, went through all my classes I had to, to be married. Um, later on, marriage fell apart. And in January, I decided my New Year's resolution, like I needed to get back in church. I needed to get, have my kids in that. Um, in March, I found out that my stepfather was ill and he was actually had his last rites read to him and everything. We thought that was it. He made a recovery. I was down in Florida and went to a non-denominational church with a friend. It was very eye-opening to me. A stranger came up to me at the end of service and talked to me and said some things that really touched my heart and I sat in my car for about 30 minutes and cried and cried and cried and just it was my spiritual awakening that I had. In May I found out that my biological mom had stage 3 cancer. She went through aggressive chemo and radiation. Two days after she finished my stepdad finally passed away. Prior to him passing away, we had a heart-to-heart conversation about acceptance and that it was okay and he that he was okay with dying and that He just wanted me to be okay with accepting it, and I was. I mean, I had that time with him from March to July that we got to talk a lot. Uh, so now coming to church and having God in my life a full time, not just part time, has made me be able to accept and cope with things a lot more and accept that it's in God's hands and I have to trust in him and it's all gonna work out in the end.